structures. In this section, we're going to learn um, how well how to predict the loads the the rocket is going to have, and then well the, um, be able to to design to know which which thickness of the structure we're going to need. So when I talk structure, um, we're we're going to cover from um, oh this is really big. We're going to cover from the airframe. Airframe, but also the fins. You know which thickness the fins need, um, which is the last thing we have to talk about to to design the fins. Remember that the span and the cord um, are going to be related to mostly to stability. Then other parameters like the 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 tip this leading edge tip angle um and the sweep angle gonna be more related to drag and then finally thickness well it's it has to do with the structure and the loads and we're gonna see this now in this section i'm gonna talk about airframe because the um, the rocket motor is probably gonna gonna be part of the airframe so um we'll also consider the the motor case if you're familiar with with model rocketry uh you may see that you know model rockets are something like this you have a plastic nose cone uh airframe it could be plastic or or um or cardboard or whatever and then yeah some fins maybe glass epoxy composite uh, cardboard or no not cardboard but yeah uh but what you normally have is a is a motor that goes inside which is tiny compared to the whole airframe then you have something that holds this loads So yeah, the the motor is, is way smaller than the the whole rocket. Um, and the rockets we'll be doing, um, yeah, sounding rockets. They use the, the the motor as a as a part of the airframe. So it's gonna be the motor here, the nozzle while inside, or and then the fins. Maybe you can go over here. So it's the motor's part of the airframe, so that's why I'm also going to consider, the, you know, talk about the loads related to to the motor. So what else we're going to see? I'm probably going to talk about air heating, aerodynamic heating in the next section, 2.5. Um, yeah, it's a big subject of itself, and it complements. Maybe it's yeah, it's complements this one and also in, in 2.4 I'm going to talk about typical materials we may use for the for the airframe and and yeah that's about it mm, all this section is based on, on Fleeman again if you're serious with this buy do yourself a favor and get yourself a, a copy of this book you're gonna need it of course, I'm not gonna just copy everything um, that Fleeman says. I'm just gonna um, point out, you know, introduce you to the to the area, and if you're interested in, um, you know, learning about the structural design, I suggest go to Fleeman, and then go to somewhere else if you want to learn even more. But um, the way to go would be, you know, start up with this, and then. Yeah, definitely get Fleeman for more for a more detailed explanation and everything, more formulas. So yeah. So this section is based on on chapter four on Fleeman. And 
Yeah, let's go.